What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. In my channel that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And today we're talking about whether or not the new NVIDIA, um, supposedly the 1180 refresh or Volta Touring or whatever they're calling it now, um, GPU information that was just linked is, you know, if we can trust it, but also what it means for the future of 4K gaming. Now, before we get into today's topic, I do want to just one more time remind you guys, tonight is the very last night to enter the RX 580 giveaway that's going on the channel right now. So if you haven't already, enter for that graphics card giveaway. Make sure you do. Don't worry if you don't win because I have a really crazy giveaway coming out for my 10,000 sub goal, which we hit. So make sure to be uh, checking on that for the channel, you know, and if you're already subscribed, subscribe, hit the bell icon so that you get that update when it drops. It's probably going to be coming out in the next week or two. I'm just kind of gathering the last little bit that I need for it. But anyway, I'm very excited. So when we're talking about the just kind of 4K gaming and its current form, we have to talk about a couple of things. First off, while it is absolutely true that with products like the PS4 Pro or the Xbox One um, X, you are able to do 4K gaming, it is by no means, I would argue, the best experience. First off, because you're gaming on a console. Secondly, because even though most of these titles say up to four, you know, 60 uh, FPS at 4K, a lot of the titles obviously fall short. So, and when we're talking about 4K gaming, I'm gonna be specifically talking in the sphere of PC gamers as I am a PC enthusiast. Now, the monitor on my right here is a Seeky Pro um, 4K and I have loved to game on it. Typically, if I'm playing kind of a single player title um, where I want more of a graphical experience, I'll play on that. But most of the games I play on my 1440p monitor over here and that's because it, it refresh, it's got a much higher refresh rate, 165 hertz, IPS, G-Sync, all that jazz. And so, what I found is that until you know you hit kind of a certain threshold, which is kind of the 60 FPS minimum at 4K gaming, it's not worth giving up all the other features you can get at lower resolution, at least my personal opinion. Now, and currently with these uh, GPU leak for the 1180, we get some idea of kind of how powerful this thing is supposedly gonna be. Take all this with a grain of salt. We don't know if any of this is 100% true, but basically based off of what I've read and the analysis that others have done, um, this is kind of gives you a min, uh, minimum idea of kind of what the specs are going to be. It's got about four gigabytes more um, DDR6 RAM, so that's an upgrade from previous generations. Same exact amount of CUDA cores as a uh, basically a 1080 Ti. However, due to the faster RAM, the smaller um, die for the FinFET, there should be more transistors, meaning that they're estimating it's gonna be around something like 13 teraflops of performance. Now, to put that in context, that would be about 50% higher than the 1080 is right now, or 20% higher than the 1080 Ti. That's very interesting for a couple of different reasons. Currently, the 1080 Ti is the only single GPU that is capable of hitting 4K, um, you know, I would say uh, consistently around 60 FPS, but it's not able to do it across all titles and certainly not at the highest settings. 20% would give it the additional 15 FPS that it essentially needs to break that barrier and to stay above that barrier. So what does that mean? Well, it means that we may finally have a single GPU solution to gaming at 4K for above 60 FPS, making 4K gaming much more viable. In conjunction, monitors for 4K have gone down in price, same with TVs, so we're kind of entering that realm. We also obviously see um, there's a, that monitor coming out, supposedly 144 hertz, IPS G-Sync 4K monster that should be releasing sometime this year, supposedly, but we're gonna have to wait and see, even though a single GPU, probably even a 10, uh, 1180 wouldn't be able to power it, you know, more than maybe 60 to 70 FPS max. Now this is all speculative based on whether or not this information is true. But I think the whole point is that the industry is trying to come up with a solution because 4K has been pushed pretty hard on the market. It's been pushed pretty hard on the consumer, but most of us still play at 1080p because we'd much rather have high refresh rate and consistent FPS than obviously, you know, mind melting resolution. And so in terms of whether or not this is gonna be powerful enough for 4K, if the specs are true, it should be at least the minimum requirement of 60 FPS that most enthusiasts need. If this all ends up being true, it could be very interesting for the market. I'm more interested in kind of for like the 1180 Ti because if the trend holds true, if the, uh, basically if the 1180 again is 20% faster than the 1080 Ti, then the 10 or 1180 Ti could be 30% faster than that, meaning it would be twice as fast as 1080 or closer to maybe like 80 to 90 FPS in AAA titles. So that's kind of more what I want to see because of, you know, 144 Hertz monitor is all well and good, but to even touch that, you would need an SLI setup 
and as we know, SLI and Crossfire, or it's not even called Crossfire anymore, it's like uh, dual GPU support. That's all kind of going away. It's hard to code, but we're gonna have to wait and see. So if you like this video, guys, go ahead and leave me a big thumbs up. But if you didn't, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down. But get subscribed, guys. I'm gonna have that giveaway coming out. And again, you have the, this is the last night to enter that graphics card giveaway. But um, if you wanna leave me a comment down below, I'd love to hear from you guys, as I always do. I love reading through that and interacting with you guys. Thank you to all my Amazon, pay, uh, Patreon, and, uh, Twitch subs, basically, you guys have been supporting me directly. My, you know, people use my Amazon affiliate link. Please continue to do that. But as always, we hope to see you next time here on Geared Inc.